So now that I've um, showed you how to purge, it is time for the real work. So I got to take off my jacket and get my hands dirty. Make sure that you're wearing some clothes that are, you know, relatively comfortable so that you can really get down on the floor and get under those cupboards and uh, scrub things out and put things into piles, which we're going to be talking about next. So it's really important to categorize before we put things back because it allows us to assess how many items that we really have in each category and then we can go to the store and buy the appropriate um, space dividers and also containers for what we love and own now. So let's take a look inside this drawer and I will show you how to categorize in a quick, easy method that's going to get you rolling. Although this uh, drawer looks miscellaneous, we know that we're going to keep everything. So what we can do is just pull things out according to category. I see hair products and I'm just going to set them neatly onto a workspace, which is the counter right now. Or you can also do this on the floor. So I'm pulling out hair items, placing them together. This is a broad category, you know, anything that goes in your hair can be a hair item also, including products. Um, nail polish. And then these are toiletry items like razor blades, um, Q-tips, things that you take when you travel or use daily for hygiene. Here's some more hair products, so I just add that to my hair pile. And you'll notice that your pile will grow as you get into more areas. Mouthwash. And then I will see a little extra trash here that I didn't pick the first time. That's no problem. We just pick it out and throw it away. And there you have it. That's how you do one drawer, and we'll clean that later.